Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with The Creativity Cave and I am so excited to be sharing with you some information about a new offering that I have. It is called Sunshine and Creativity Delivered and it is kind of like a subscription club where each month you will get a specially curated box of stamping awesomeness delivered to your door. Now I'm going to explain how it all works and give you an example of our first month's box. Don't worry, I'm leaving a few surprises in store for those of you who participate, but I'm very excited. And we're going to stamp a card. So hold tight. I can get my stampin' lips on first. I mean, we're stamping, so... Um, here we go. Oh, everything's better with stamping lips. So our kit is going to change each month. So you will get different items in your box that's delivered to you. And we will always feature uh, a stamp set or a bundle or maybe a set of dies. It will totally vary each month. And for when you subscribe, I will give you all the information that you'll need to know ahead of time. Like I said, our first month is going to be awesome. So let me flip my camera so I can show you what we're going to do. All right, so here is our box. I'm so excited about this. Um, I, I don't, my, this isn't even attached yet, but uh, we're gonna have, I have beautiful happy graphics because this is a happy happy box um, so every month you'll get a surprise in your box so I'm not gonna share all the details um, but let's open our box up this month and see what's inside so like I said there's a little surprise each month and everything you get from me is going to be happy and uplifting and make you smile and make your day so I'm going to open up my box and you can see this month's box is kind of jam packed with some stuff and I don't even have all the things in here. Uh, we're going to feature the Nature's Harvest Bundle, which is a new bundle in our uh, July to August uh, mini catalog, or I'm sorry, July to December mini catalog, pardon me. And like I said, in just a moment, we're going to create one of the projects that our box is going to uh, have in it. So when you open up your box, you'll see some very pretty things in here that you can use to create your projects. So I've got a Stampin' Spritzer. I've got some trim. I've got a blending brush. I've got some of our new brushed metallic dots. There is... A whole bunch of paper. I've got cork paper. I've got the beautiful new blackberry paper and of course the Harvest DSP as well. Um, and like I said, there's a few things in here I'm not even showing. So there will be surprises for those of you who subscribe. You'll also get a packet that is going to have all the pre-cut cardstock. This is not the actual packet, by the way. I just put it in here for the example. And your box will make anywhere from, I would say, four to six cards each month. But what I really love about it is it's also going to include um, extra items so that you can experiment and play with the projects. The projects will also often include techniques or kind of specialized um, things that are you know, related to what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know how to better describe that. It's not very good, is it? Um, but if you follow me and know my style of stamping, you know that I'm all about sharing and teaching and making you a better stamper in the process. Now, one of the questions uh, you might have is, will this be found on my Stamp Happy Academy? And the answer to that is no. The only people who will get this awesome content are people who are subscribers. I also am limited the number of subscribers that I will accept in order to um, make sure that, you know, your box is something special that you get in the mail, not just some random th box thrown together. We're going to like put a lot of love into these boxes for you so that you really get something amazing. So when I say specially curated, I really do mean that. And each month there will be some awesome surprises that come with it. So our first, car, or the card I'm going to show with you today, this is one of the projects that you'll get to create with your box, features um, this awesome bundle. 
and a fun little technique that I'm going to show you. And um, you can create this uh, quite easily with your box. So first off, you're going to need, or you can use the dry brush background stamp. This is an optional item. And by the way, if you don't have the items that I'm using, which are this bundle and this stamp set, uh, you will have the option to add these items on. Um, it won't be in your initial registration, but it will be, um, it will come after that. So the when you register for this, you're just registering for the box itself, and then um, you'll have the opportunity to add on the additional items later, just so you know. Okay, so the Nature's Harvest is like one of the prettiest stamp sets. So I'm going to give you uh, a whole bunch of tips and tricks on how to create with this. We're going to start with kind of a fun little technique. And for that, I want to use my Stamparatus. Now, if you don't have a Stamparatus, don't worry. You can still create these projects without any problem. Um, another question you might have is, are these for, like, avid stampers? Do you have to have a lot of technical knowledge in order to craft with these? And the answer to that is absolutely not. This is des oops, designed to be used by anybody. Okay, so one of the reasons I'm using my Stamparatus is because I'm using kind of this larger stamp and it's just easier to kind of manipulate in my hands with the larger stamp. Uh, I want to, to start with uh, this die cut butterfly. Now the butterfly will come in your kit die cut and I want to be able to stamp my uh, stamp on here kind of like that. So I'm just going to put this in my Stamparatus like so. Oh, I've got two magnets here. Oh boy. Let's see if we can get these apart. That should be fun. <laughs> the best way to do it is to like slide them past one another. All right, we're just going to set that one over there. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm positioning my stamp so that my little flowers will be like that. I'll pick that up. And then what I'm going to do is actually use that Stampin' Spritzer that will be a part of your kit. And I've got one filled here somewhere, possibly. Or I did with water. Okay, so I'm going to take my spritzer and I'm going to spritz my uh, watercolor paper here just a little bit, my butterfly, with a little bit of water and not like drippy, super wet, just a little wet. Okay, and then I'm going to take some crushed curry ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp. Okay, so I'll do that and I'm going to stamp this down. And when I do that, I will get this beautiful effect and it's going to bleed out and I'm going to see color all over the place. I can also spritz this maybe once more. Okay, to just kind of let the color bleed and blend a little bit. All right, so that is perfect, despite what it might look like. Now I'm going to take and heat set this. So I've got some beautiful color on here, but you can see the detail in my image has kind of gone away. Now, I didn't dry it all the way. I just kind of mostly dried it. <laughs> and then I'm going to take that my stamp that, again, is, is on here, and I'm just going to stamp it once more. Now, what happened that second time is now, because it's dry, the, that detail is going to stay in there, but you can see I've got all that beautiful kind of color that's dispersed a little bit. And I will tell you, every time you do this, you get a slightly different effect based on how much ink you use, how much water you spritz, and all of those things. So I love this because it's really fun to experiment with different colors and different images and whatnot. Okay, so there we go. Now you might be thinking, oh my gosh, your Stamparatus is all dirty. Don't worry. You can easily clean it off. Um, I keep wet wipes in my office so that I can clean up my Stamparatus with no problem. Okay, now I'm also going to use this for one other thing, and that is that background stamp. You saw that I have um, this background on here. And as mentioned, this is, sorry, I was just, this is still wet, so I'm wiping it off. Um, this is a beautiful background that I want to add to my card, but I only want uh, about half of it on here. So I'm going to kind of position my piece of cardstock on here. I'll put my 
um, magnet down to hold it in place. And then I'll take my stamp. All right. And I'm going to position this. Um, so I'm just stamping, oh, like a little more than a third. Okay. I don't like giving too specific a measurement, but I've picked that up. So it's just going to stamp kind of on here. All right. To do that, I will ink this up once again. And again, the reason I'm using my Stamparatus is just because it's kind of hard to, to literally work with a big stamp like this. Okay, so I've inked this up. Now I'm going to stamp this down, give some good pressure. I actually have this thing <laughs> um, that one of my downlines sent me. It's, a, I call it a hockey puck. It's an air hockey paddle. I'll just go over this like so and then when I pick that up I've got this beautiful image now you can use the dry brush background stamp or any other background stamp I just like the look of this one okay again I'm gonna get rid of this and then we're gonna put the rest of our card together okay oh one more thing we needed our beautiful flower image I don't know are those black eyed what are those called I feel like they're black, not black-eyed Susie's, lazy Susan's, black-eyed peas. <laughs> That's something else. I don't know. Do you know what they're called? No. Cone cone flowers, maybe. I don't know. I'm um, I have a degree in biology, but that does not mean I know anything <laughs> about plants. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what I want to do next is take my image, uh, and because I used it with a different color, I'm just going to clean it off. This is my Stampin' Chamois, and that will just clean all the ink off. Then what I'm going to do is I want to put this, um, this is going to be for the inside of my card, and uh, I just want to put this in the corner. So I'm just going to position this right there. Once again, I'll hold this down pick this up and this time I'm going to ink it in some early espresso ink. All right. I'm going to stamp that down once again. Get my hockey puck, even though I know this is not a hockey puck, but that's what I lovingly call it. <laughs> okay. And there we go. So now again, this is for the inside of my card. I'm going to let that dry for a second and let's put our card together. All right. So my card base is going to be early espresso. So again, you'll get pre-cut cardstock for projects. Um, and, I, and each month it'll be a little different between four and six cards, but you'll have extra cardstock so that you can continue to play and experiment and enjoy. Um, and then I'm going to put my stamped image on my card, my stamped panel, I should say with the background stamp. And then the other thing that um, I'm really excited about this is that we're going to also have quarterly Zoom stamp with Dina sessions. So you'll little, literally be able to stamp with me once a quarter. You can work on whatever you want to work on, whether it's your kit that you um, need to work put together or something else but it'll be just a fun chance to stamp together. Um, if you can't join the, the time when we're actually stamping, of course, everything will be recorded and you can watch it again later. Um, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited about it. Um, I also have die cut this little uh, label. This is from the set of dies that coordinates with this bundle. And I'm gonna stamp my sentiment that comes in the stamp set. Um, another question you might have is what kind of cards are they? They're always going to be all occasion cards that you can use for a variety of um, occasions. Uh, nothing will be uh, too specific, I guess. So you can customize them to fit the needs that you have in your stamping. Okay, so I sent this beautiful, or stamped this beautiful sentiment, sending healing thoughts. May nature's beauty bring you peace to your soul. So nice. And I'm going to pop this up onto my card. Okay, so uh, I'll put a dimensional kind of on both ends. 
Now, one of the things you might be asking are what kind of supplies do you need to create with um, your kit? And the answer to that is probably uh, basic ink pad colors that most people have. And if you don't have them, um, you certainly can order them. And uh, if you don't have what I'm using, most of the time you can substitute things. Um, you'll have plenty of time to, to uh, see what the projects are and um, make an order if you need. You need to subscribe by the last day of the month to get the following month's kit. So right now you're subscribing for the September kit, which is the, gonna be the first kit. And then uh, if you... Um, do that by the first of the month then the kits will ship on the 15th so I'll order everything around the first of the month each month uh, okay so then what I'm going to do is take my clear wink Estella and I'm just going to kind of color these black-eyed Susans I know it's not the black-eyed peas Okay, so I'm kind of coloring these in. Now, sometimes you can kind of pick up a little bit of the color uh, when you're coloring with Winkastella, but I'm just going to color the petals on these Lazy Susans. No, that's something else too. Black-Eyed Susans. I really think that's my final answer, but I have no idea if that's actually what this is. And I know y'all are going to tell me in the comments, <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> they could be cone flowers too. Can you tell I really don't know? I should stop talking. <laughs> All right. So I've just added a little shimmer to this. And we'll go ahead and put that on the inside of our card. Like this. And then here you have just a beautiful card. But wait, there's more. We're going to do just a little more to this. Uh, I'm going to take and do one of my favorite techniques which is to spritz so I'm just going to take something it can be a marker a pair of scissors whatever I've got a bone folder here and I'm just going to smack it against um, this card like so and what that does is it puts a little bit of shimmer on my card so very pretty now this was this is a, a relatively advanced in that we did kind of a fun technique with this card um, but it's a lot of fun. I will tell you that um, we will be doing watercoloring techniques. So if you don't have a water brush, um, I definitely recommend getting them. Stampin' Up! sells them um, in a pa three pack, which are really awesome. And there's different sizes in that pack. So we'll be using those uh, throughout this event. And um, you're going to really just learn lots of really cool things with stamping. It's going to be so much fun. Again, any skill level is definitely, um, is definitely, a, a, it's, a, it's for everybody, <laughs> is what I'm saying. If you've never stamped before, this might be a bit much. But um, otherwise, beginners through fancy stampers. <laughs> you will enjoy these projects. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, please let me know. I'm happy to answer your questions. Um, I do expect our, uh, from what I've kind of heard initially, I do expect um, the subscriptions to sell out. So don't, if you're on the fence, um, I would say go for it uh, so that you don't miss out. Um, because like I said, I have a limited quantity. Now, if people do... Um, and their subscription, I will, of course, open it up to fill their spot. Um, now, I haven't told you about the best part. If you stay in for six consecutive months, you will get a product credit for $30 of whatever you would like. You can choose that product credit. And if you want to continue, um, you can save that product credit. And after a year, instead of doing like 30, 30 for each six months, I'll make it 75. So you get a little bit more if you hold out for the full year to reward you. And of course, along the way, I will have all kinds of fun treats and surprises in your box. You will get a really good value for your money. And of course, I know the next question is, how much does it cost? It is $49 per month, and that includes shipping and tax to you. And the products that you will get will be valued at, at minimum, $35. So it's a lot of value in your packet, plus, of course, all the pre-cut cardstock and everything. 
if you now of course these boxes can only be shipped to u.s addresses if you're international and would like to participate in that please drop me an email i'll put it in the description of this video for you um, and contact me because i have a way international people can participate as well with this um, and finally um, if you would like to register the link is in the description of this video i would love to have you be a part of this um, it's going to be so much fun i also have a facebook Facebook group. It's not required or anything. Um, we'll post fun little things, but uh, it'll be so much fun to kind of connect with one another over there if you would like to. Um, and I think it's going to be really awesome. I'm so excited about it. I hope you will enjoy um, this card tutorial uh, for this time and you'll join us for some, some fun each month delivered to your door. Thank you again so much for stamping with me today, my friends. If you um, have any questions or would like to purchase the kit or supplies, um, please shop my online store. Again, all those links will be in the description of this video. And I always appreciate thumbs up and subscriptions to my channel so you never miss out on all the awesome stuff. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.